Hey guys, what right, we do here? And before we get started in this video, I just want to let you know that I'm recording with a laptop, so you're gonna see all oh, yes, really low FPS and chops and stuff like that. I just wanted to get this video to you guys because somebody wanted to see the climbs, and so I decided let's make the climbs because that is really cool. So this first climb is the one that he asked for, but I've added two more, and it's in order of most tactical to least tactical. Now this is, st or sorry, least tactical to most tactical. This is still a pretty tactical climb, as I will explain to you in this video. But this first one you're gonna see is a fail because I just want to get out of the way, just get the fails out of the way. But then, after this one, which is Arctic Region, goes Cliff, and after Cliff, goes Redshire. You can try these out and see what you think. Thank you guys so much, and if you like live commentaries, guys, slap that like button down below to let me know you want me to do more. Peace. Okay, no, 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 no. You go right. I think you keep going right. I thought you turned around. I think you can turn around, but I'm just too fat to turn around. Yeah, because I don't usually end up here. So you can turn around if you want. Hey guys, Cool Guys72 here, and today I'm going to show you three climbs. This first one is going to be on Arctic Region. Here I am. This is live, by the way. Now, I already tried this. You want to knock down these two trees, and then there's a small tree right there which you aim for. Let's see if I can get a closer look. Where is it? Is that it? I can't tell. It's a really small tree. Well, you can't miss it when you get to it because it's a really small tree. But you don't even need the tree. There it is. There it is. It's right there. That's the tree. See it? That's the tree. That's what you're aiming for. So, you just get a little bit of speed. You only really have to be going like 20 to get up here and have good train resistance. So that would be this tank. And you just go straight and voila. Then you turn left and now I've made it. But that was the easy part. Because now I have to wiggle up here. That's the hard part. That was right there. That's a hard part. You have to hit that almost on the head to get it. And then you have a couple more difficult areas. This one, you need the right tank to get up, but you need to get up this part. This part is hard because you need speed, but sometimes you can't get speed. So what you can do is you can kind of go up like this and then turn left and then go up sideways like that. There we go. And then this one, you do need a little bit of speed. Pick it up, try to reach 30 if you can and get right here. Boom. And then, oh, don't go too far. Turn right. Turn right. There we go. Oh, boys. And then this part right here. I'm going to drive up. And then you turn shimmy left. Then once you get here, turn right. And shimmy right. Kind of like a zigzag. If you can catch that track. There it is. And then you can drive the rest of the way up. Now, what can you do from up here? Well, what I did, which caused me to die, was... When I came up here, I poked all the way to right here. So I could shoot those guys. Because you can shoot those guys. You can shoot... See there that tree is? That's where you can, you can shoot people there. Shoot people up there. You can shoot people all along here and right. You can't shoot there. You can't see there. Because it's about 566, I think. Or 567. So actually, this is the max you can see. So you can see that. That's actually cool. But usually, they put a medium tank right about there or about there a medium or light take and they can spot you and as you can see where that t-pitch 41 is we can still see him which means he can see us if we're spotted so you can shoot all of that what this place is best for is sitting right here like what i like to do is sit right here like this so that medium tank cannot spot me but i can shoot people going across now unfortunately if somebody goes right there 370 he will spot you if you shoot Sometimes people go by this rock, but not usually. And usually people don't actually go there, but they can shoot you. But from here, if you hide yourself well, and you're in a tank with better gun depression, you can shoot all those guys right there. And you can shoot everybody right there. And you can shoot people coming along here. In fact, what my favorite part is, this is where tanks like to go when they poke up to spot and pull back down. We have a higher angle on them. We can actually shoot them before they get their poke off. And we can just go, hello, derp, and shoot them. Now, what else can we do up here? I do not know. The f I got up here uh, two days ago, just randomly. Our team was getting crushed, and I said, well, I'm going to die. And I just climbed up this, and I made it. So it was actually three days ago. 
So, okay, we can go up here, too. Oh, my gosh. So, if they don't have a medium there, by the way, guys, if they don't have a medium or light, then you can absolutely poke around and shoot those guys who are up here. And then, of course, if they don't have a medium again, you can come up here, apparently. Because look at... Look at this. That is the camp zone. Holy cow. People camp there. Now, it is 3.30, 3.40 away. So, you definitely want to wait for your camo net to go up before you start shooting and be prepared to back up. But you can shoot them. You can shoot everything. You have total map control up here. As long as they don't have good vision. So you have three choices. You can half poke and only shoot those guys. As long as there's nobody right there. Then you can full poke and shoot from there all the way over there. As long as there is no medium tank right there or right there. And then, if that's the case, you can actually come all the way up here. If you have a good camo crew. Otherwise, the people right there will spot you. But you can shoot them. So those are your options. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this climb. On to the next one. Alrighty then, so we arrive at our second climb. This is on cliff, and this is a very tactical climb. This is a great climb to climb if you want to climb climbingly. Now, how do you do this? Is you knock down these trees, you line yourself up like this, you back up, and then you push forward as fast as you can, hard as you can, you go as straight as possible. Maybe you have to turn right a little like I just did, and try to catch the green, just like that. Don't touch the gray. If you touch the gray, you'll slip off. Even right here, don't touch that gray part. Oh, I'm touching it, but that's okay and we've made it up. Now let me show you what you can see from up here. From up here. Remember, your render is about, I think it's 567 about, or 580 maybe, I don't know. So you can see, as long as you're spotted, anyone behind that rock that people like hiding behind, you can see their upper plate. You can see over here, you can see all of this. And you can see people, there's a big tree in the way. So somebody spotting, you can see people who are poking from behind this mountain, right here, and they won't see you, and you can shoot them. And you can spot those guys going up there, and you have perfect side shots. And they're about 400 meters away. So if you have a good camo crew, you should be able to shoot them, no problem. But if you don't, be careful. On to the next climb. Okay, one more part to this climb I forgot to mention. You can also shoot things coming from over there. See, look, this is about 480 meters. You can shoot people cutting across here. It's insane. You can shoot people over there. You can shoot pretty much everything. So what I would recommend, if you have a better... This tank doesn't have gun impression, but if you're in, like, a cherry tier, you can go right here, and so they won't spot you from over there, and you can shoot those guys over there. So that's my recommendation to you guys. For the last climb, and the most tactical in my own opinion, is this climb right here on Redshire. You just climb, see where I am on the map, here I am on the minimap, just so you guys know. And you don't even need to speed, I got an E75 up here, in fact, there's a WZ up there right now. You just climb up right here, you wiggle to the right, and then to the left. That's well, kind of just a wiggle, wiggle shake until your treads catch. And then, uh, little catch, don't worry about it. I got an E75 up here. There they are, there's the catch. That's the catch. And then, you, just, you hope that your hull, the bottom of your hull isn't touching the ground, otherwise your treads are, you know, off the ground, and that's not good. But, we've made it. Here we are. So then you have to climb up here, and it's still a little bit, it's not difficult now, it's not, you're not gonna fall off now. But it's still a little bit difficult to climb. Think. Do you, can you climb right here? Oh, you can. You don't have to turn left here. I thought you did. Oh, yes, you do. You have to turn left. Yeah, you do. But you can just back up. Kind of like parallel parking. Right here. Boom. Ta-da. Park. And you can go up the rest of the way. And now Rage is yelling at me because I was just tracking him the entire time while I was on the phone with my mother. So that is the reasons. Now, he is in my Xbox Live party, so you cannot hear him. But I can hear him. And so, anyway, guys, real quick. You don't have to go much higher than this. From right here, you can shoot. I'm going to get away from the tree so you can see through it. Look what you can see. You can see all this. 
There's no place they can hide. I'm just like, hello. And so that you hide, you can use this tree. But obviously it's harder to see the terrain. And then if they're pushing through that, you want to get up here before they push through that. Because otherwise they'll spot you as you climb and they will shoot you. Right here they'll spot you and they'll shoot you. So if you really want to be extra safe, you climb up here. Be careful not to fall down that. You can climb up here. No, Cortana! No thanks! Ah! Okay, so from right here, now look what you can do. You can see even more. But it's a little bit easier for them to spot you because there's not as many trees in the way. And then you can see your base. You can see all the way up over there. This is definitely the most tactical. You can see all of this about. It's insane. But be careful getting down. You want to go down the same way you came up. And I will demonstrate why. Actually, Rage can demonstrate. There is an invisible wall because that's how people used to come up. So let's see if there's another place we can get down before time runs out. Can you get down right here? You can. Just be careful. So you can go down that way. Don't go straight down where Rage does. You will get stuck forever. Forever. And you will die. So those are the climbs, guys. Now enjoy this nice gameplay of the Scorpion G. Oh boy, guys. Let's see what we can do here. This is stupid matchmaking. Let's just, um farm all the damage we possibly can in this game. Let's see, who am I going to one shot? No, no money, but that's okay. Let's do this. So now you get to see what this tank can do. Not climbing, because it didn't give me a climbing map, which I wanted. So you're going to see a non-climbing map. This tank. Okay, wait. Let me turn down my game. There we go. Now, Rage is in the background, and you don't hear him. Never mind, he's too loud. Mute. No, I'm kidding. So he's here too. He's in my party. He's playing Red Faction Armageddon. Red Faction Armageddon. Thank you. But yes. So because this is live, you can probably hear my computer, my laptop running its heart out right now. And it's actually, the FPS is doing okay. Actually, no, that's terrible. And we'll see if this is usable, guys. This is why. I might just show this off, just so you know why I don't um, record with this. I think that was a fair trade, guys. Do you? I believe that was a fair trade. Showing this tank off right off the bat. Showing what it can do. Now, what it can do as well is apparently bounce off via sixes. So I thought I shot his plate well, but I guess not. Missed. Unfortunately, him. I cannot get my gun down. But I can shoot that guy. No, I can't. Point three accuracy is a lie. It's a lie. This tree will protect me. Is it just me or does this guy really want to shoot the one guy? That would be good. Anyone want to help the one guy or is the guy on his own? Thanks for shooting me. Are you going to shoot me now, sir? Now my hit points are pretty much gone, but we've got taken care of a couple of uh, dangerous tanks. We took out their eyes, we plucked those out, and we took out the heavy tank. Boom. Doesn't this thing punch, guys? It's amazing. It is a puncher. A puncher of souls. There's a D-Max. Another soul down. Whew. Is that D-Max dead? It is. Cover me affirmative, dude. You spot, I'll shoot, don't worry about it. Knocking down trees. Get you better than the innate, did you know that? Yeah, 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 one second, one second, one second. 
Ooh, I wonder how much we did do. So jukey. She juked me hard. That's still a full health DK, boys. This is still gonna be a tough one to win. There's the Hell Kitty we hit earlier. That was a bad shot. Shell went straight. I just fired poorly. But, looks like I get a second chance. That was a good shot. That just went high. I could have swore that was a good shot. <laughs> you agree? Yes, it I was. Did. It was amazing. It was. It, was. <laughs> it really was. Kaiju. Shoot me, I dare you. Because anything you can do, I can do better. No. Oh, well, that guy's coming. Lucky for me, he's a one-shot, and I am a two-shot with him, so I just gotta aim really carefully. Got him. Careful aim. Hey! If I can get a top gun out of this, I think this will be worth, uh, the admission. Which is $20, in case you guys didn't know, it's linked right up to your YouTube. So, if you're watching this, it's 20 bucks. Mm. That was so scary. There we go. Got him. There's the top gun. Now if we can get a couple more points off of this guy, maybe we can get a Devastator. And maybe a first class. Just kidding! Just kidding! I had a game where I did 7,000 damage, guys, and got 9 kills. 2750 basic speed. It was a first class. Aces are so broken right now, it's not even funny. Actually, that is funny. It's hilarious, actually. Come here, buddy. Come here. You're my devastator. Mine. Yes! GG! G stinking G. That's a good one. I hope the FPS isn't awful. I'm gonna watch this back and cry and be like, No, it's awful. Look at that money. 5,000 damage, no assisted. 7 kills. High caliber. First class. That should not be a first class. How much base XP is that? 18? Okay, I had literally 900 more base XP and it was a first class. Aces are so broken, Rage. <laughs> We're taking a picture. People are good at this game, Alright, so guys, look at the money. 158,000 credits, and I didn't even have to do that much. 100,000 credits if I was uh, without a premium account. Let's see now. My repairs, I think repairs in this thing is about 7,000 something. Oh no, was it 6,000 something? Because uh, we got 6,466 repairs. Oh, you know what? It is 6,000. I think it's 6,800 my repairs are. So had I died, it would have been... That would have been the uh, the amount of repairs it would be. So they're really cheap. Ammunition is slightly expensive because it's kind of big. Actually, I think it's a thousand a shot, so it's not that bad. So this tank, is it worth the buy? Well, if you have the money and you don't mind spending money on this game, yes. This is definitely out of the three tanks they are offering. This is the best one. So if you have to, if you're gonna get one of these, I would recommend the Scorpion G. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Rage, for sneezing in the background and for being there. I hope you guys all enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Here is the link to my uh, my Gmail so you can send me stuff. And uh, until then, this is Tone Guy 72. Peace out.